Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. You don't need to be white to support white supremacy or white privilege. If you support the justice system, for example, which apprehends and incarcerates people of color at higher rates than white people, hands them harsher sentences, and is more likely to reincarcerate them, then you support white supremacy. And you don't need to be white to support the justice system. If you support capitalism, which depends on the exploitation of people of color and disproportionately benefits white people, then you support white supremacy. And you don't need to be white to support capitalism. If you support even through so-called patriotic actions, colonial states such as Canada and the United States, whose very existence depended on the exploitation of the lives, labor, and resources of people of color for their establishment and maintenance, then you support white supremacy, and you don't need to be white to support Canada. White supremacy isn't just being a Nazi. White supremacy is the idea that whiteness is better, that it's a default. White supremacy is what convinces us that it's okay for indigenous people to be followed around in a store because white supremacy sees indigeneity as criminal. White supremacy is what convinces us that it's okay for cops to card black people at higher rates than white people because white supremacy sees blackness as criminal. White supremacy is what convinces us that it's okay to be afraid of people of color walking down the street because white supremacy sees non-whiteness as violent and savage. White supremacy is what convinces us that white people pull themselves out of poverty through their own hard work because white supremacy sees non-whiteness as lazy. And anyone can believe these things. You don't need to be white to believe that people of color should be convicted of more crimes because they must commit more crimes, that there must be something inherent in non-whiteness that leads to crime, or for that matter, laziness or poverty or drunkenness or any other measure where people of color are at a disadvantage. Just like you don't need to be a person of color to see that the system is inherently racist. Thanks for watching. If you agree with the points that I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. If you disagree with the comments I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs down. But, but, let me know in the comments below why. Thanks for watching. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.